once you're on time. Hello, Sean. It's good to see you, Scarl. May I assist in anything? Yeah, scotch. Brandy. All for one and one for all. <laughs> Cognac. Ah, uh, welcome, gentlemen. It's good to see you all in excellent health. That's what we are here to assure. Ah, uh, straight to the point, as always, Mr. Darson. Very well. We reunite for the sixth time, as we've done every ten years. I trust you remember the procedure. You have been called to make the decision. To live another ten years, or die tonight. Mr. Darson. Cheers to my next ten years. Mr. Depart. Long live the King of the Skies. Mr. Scarlet. Hello, my princess. Lewis, my darling dreamer. Only you could see a princess in a dying woman. You'll be well soon. No, I won't, my love. We always knew this time would come. I can feel the silence coming for me. Don't say that. Please don't say that. It's okay, my love. Silence is... Beautiful. It's what permits all the other sounds to exist. You see, it's part of them. Mr. Scarlet. Mr. Scarlet. I'm not sure. Not sure? For the longest time now, I can't see the purpose of continuing this experiment. It's never been an experiment and you know it. We were the few chosen by the Royal Air Force for this project. The mission that saved our country. But now England is safe, and the Second World War is history written about in school books. And this is a reward given to a man meant for a hero. You don't see any purpose in your life, Mr. Skull? It's just that this body, this eternally young body, given to me along with the sworn duty of protecting my country, has turned into a cage. Everything around us has changed. We live in a different country, full of homes with non-existent wives and children that were never born. It was part of the mission, Mr. Scarlet, the price for glory and immortality, the staminal cells implanted in your body that made you invulnerable, also made you sterile and unable to wed. And that's wonderful. Your government turns you into a legend, and all you have to do in return is have fun for the rest of your life, with no risks, and as many women as you want. Just don't get involved. Perfect. Forever young. Forever young, and yet never really alive. Scarlet, you're talking nonsense. I've heard you say that before. Remember the summer of 67? Hippies. I'll never understand these people. That's because you don't understand this time. And I have no wish to do so. It'll pass like everything else. Thank you, sir. Duty, ma'am. Thank God there are still good old gentlemen out there. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, but I am only 25. Oh, yes. I remember. I've been 25, too. Who do you think she meant? Nothing. She's talking to him. Then, yeah, she's blind. Even a blind woman can tell a full moon from a new one. It's been an honour, sir. I won't need it this time. Don't lose. I won't let you kill yourself. Kill myself? No, my friend. I just want to go on. 
If the moon stayed full for an eternity, it would destroy life as we perceive it. If my body stays young for an eternity, it will destroy my soul. I need to be a new moon tonight. New? It'll be your last. And then nothing, silence, gone, forever. Silence is part of living. There's no music without the silent notes between. It's funny. After watching the world go to destruction and back to life, I'm afraid of the silence. The silence of our home. The silence of my mind. I don't think I can live in silence without you. I'll still be here in the silent pauses within the symphony of your life. Remember, my love, there is no music without the silent notes between.